Hi, this is Mark with Michigan Biochar. Earlier this year as we started our study on the uh, corn and on the sunflower seeds, I said we'd put out about three videos. Actually, we're just going to conclude it today. Today is August 26th. And so what we'll do is just give you a quick synopsis of what, what has happened out here. We have a newer broken ground out here. It uh, definitely is very deficient in nutrients and we wanted to see the effects of growing corn with compost such as what we put in right here and then growing corn with compost and biochar so we have pictures posted on our website that shows you the effects the corn over here on this side the average height probably runs right about six foot six foot one and the diameter of the stalk at the base is significant large, significantly larger than the base on the other corn. We were hoping to find a difference in the number of ears of corn on each stalk, but because of the deficiencies, we have both of these. They're just not, we're just not seeing it. So this pretty much concludes the fact that the biochar did have a big effect on the corn. Same thing with the sunflower test over here. We again have pictures posted showing the size differential between the sunflowers that were planted here uh, in early June with biochar and compost and then this plot here with just compost. We have on this side only one uh, sunflower that's opened up all the way and it's very miniature. You can see the other ones probably have a head in the circumference area of about eight inches. So again, the biochar did really prove to us just what we were looking for. We have one other thing here. If you could walk this way, outside of this fenced in area, we have our Terra Preta garden project we've been working on. And you can see using the particular technique we're using, we have biochar out here in different plots all around this garden area. To our surprise, we found that the biochar outside here on top of the ground affected the outer row of corn and to a limited extent the sunflowers as well. So it might be difficult with a video, but long story short, this outer row of corn is significantly better than all the rest of the corn that was uh, planted with biochar and compost, which itself is better than the corn that's over there that was planted in just compost. So it's hard to tell, but on average, this is probably running about six foot four. And as we go down the outer edge of the fence, getting away from that biochar, the corn comes down to only about five foot seven, five foot eight. So even the biochar sitting on the ground over there is affecting our tests over here. So lesson learned, next time we're just not going to let our tests run so close to each other. So that's it for the sunflowers and the corn and we look forward to talking to you soon with some of our other experiments.